Question number 17. Okay, first of all, let me write down the given question, which is uh, four by x plus five y, which is equal to seven. And the second part of the equation is given by three by x plus four y, which is equal to 5 and we are given that x is not equal to 0 that means that instead of x i cannot use 0 okay and the value of x should not be 0 so let's do the calculation here <clears throat> first of all i have to rearrange the first equation which is 4 by x plus 5y equal to 7 because here I have a fraction here so I don't want any fraction here so I have to make some change it's okay so I have a fraction here and I have another fraction here because there is one okay if uh, here here also there is a constant term that is 7 so there is one here okay every number has a fraction okay but if it is one we do not write it down so i have to take the, the lcm from these two so here we have denominator as x and here we have one so x into one is x lcm is x so x divide x is one one into four is four four plus one divide x is x five y into x is five x y which is equal to 7 so I'll be having here X will move to the right hand side this is the denominator so it will be uh, multiplied by 7 okay 4 plus 5 X Y which is equal to 7 into X is 7 X so I will transfer this uh, this one to the right hand side okay so it will become 4 is equal to 7x minus 5xy so i will change their position left uh, uh, left hand side will move to the right hand side and right hand side will move to the left hand side so i do not need to make any change okay if i change both the right hand side and left hand side so this will become our equation one so Similarly, for the second part of the equation, which is 3 by x plus 4y equal to 5. Similarly, I will have to take the LCM. LCM is x 3 plus 4xy, which is equal to 5. I hope you understand what I have done before. Simple, it is uh, simply as before, okay? so i have to move x to the right hand side so i'll be having 3 plus 4 x y equal to 5 x similarly i will transfer 4 x to the right hand side so 3 will be here alone because i want the constant term to be long 5 x minus 4 x y which is equal to 5x minus 4xy equal to 3. This will be our equation 2. Okay, now as we can see here, I have equation 1 and 2. They are both linear equation. So I have x at the first place and then xy is the second place. Okay, so my next mission is I want to make the xy. Okay, both x, y to be the same. So here I have 5 x, y. Here I have 4 x, y. That means that to make these two same or similar, I have to cross multiply it with the coefficient. With the coefficient here, I have 
4 as coefficient so it will multiply equation 1 by 4 so equation 1 has 5 as the coefficient of xy so equation 2 will be multiplied by 5 simple as that so my next step is multiplying equation 1 by 4 and equation 2 by 5 we get so if I multiply equation 1 by 4 7 4s are 28 5 4s are 23 4 4s are 16 so my new equation will become 4 7s are 28 x minus 5 4s are 23 x y which is equal to 4 4s are 16 this will be my new equation then I will mark it as equation 3 so equation 2 now multiply with 5 5 5 are 25 x minus 5 4 are 23 that is 23 x y which is equal to 3 5 are 15 now I have equation 4 so by looking at equation 3 and 4 I have similar x y here 23 x y 23 x y so if I use addition here because both have uh, similar sign if I use addition here this will become minus 40 x y I don't want that okay I want to make this zero okay to cancel each other so to cancel each other this has to be positive okay minus and positive cancel each other okay that means that I have to use subtraction okay subtracting equation 4 from 3 we get so if I subtract equation 4 from equation 3 so it will become 28x minus 23xy go to 16 25x minus 23xy equal to 15 then the sign will change plus minus so 28 minus 25 is 3x 23xy plus 23xy is 0 which is equal to 16 minus 5 is 15 is 1 okay so the value of x is x is equal to 1 by 3 now I have figured out the value of x so I will have to substitute the value of x into the simplest one let's see uh, let's say equation 2 is simpler than equation 1 okay so this has the lower number numeral okay so I will choose equation 2 here okay so what will I do next is substituting substituting x equal to 1 by 3 in equation 2 we get so what do we have in our equation 2 we have 5x so instead of x I have to put 1 by 3 5x minus 4x instead of that x 1 by 3 again 5x minus 4x y equal to 3 5x minus 4xy 4xy equal to 3 so we will do the calculation here 5 into 1 is 5 by 3 minus 4 into 1 is 4 4 by 3 y equal to 3 mm. okay now I can use different method I can transfer 5 by 3 to the right hand side first and do the calculation or I can uh, do an LCM from these two from these two uh, fraction okay so LCM is 3 5 minus 4 y equal to 3 so I will move this 3 to the right hand side again 5 minus 4 y is equal to 9 3 3 is are 9 so that means minus 4 y is equal to 9 minus 5 which is minus 4 y is equal to 4 then y is equal to 4 by minus 4 is 
y is equal to minus 1. So I have figured out the value of x and y. The value of x is 1 by 3. And the value of y is negative 1. So it's very simple. All you need is uh, hard work, concentration. Okay, study very hard. We almost finished the linear equation into variables. After we finish uh, most of it, uh, we will move on to cross multiplication thought. Okay, that's all for this video.